Hey, what's up, universe? It's 10.05 a.m. Central Time on Saturday, uh, October 7th, 2023. Just real quick, because I was just thinking about this. Um, in my first video for today, uh, I had mentioned, you know, lifestyle change, uh, that there's a difference between, like, you know, state, national, foreign, national, this kind of a thing. And for some of the viewers, this may raise, like, you know, perhaps certain types of feelings, like certain types of imagery, certain types of beliefs, you know, and all this kind of thing. And I can understand that. Um, if anybody's ran into those terms and they, and you have certain types of beliefs and certain types of feelings and a certain type of imagery, I'm going to invite you to go back to a pinned video on the creation triangle. And I'm going to ask, where did those beliefs come from? Where did that come from? And if you're first encounter with these phrases, this term, uh, these types of things, the, these ideas, if it came from the media, if it came from news articles, if it came from a news outlet, if it came from somebody other than your own conscious mind and you consciously researching and you drawing your own conclusions, then I'm going to counter and say that that's probably going to be a problem in the misunderstanding um, because there's definitely um, how do I want to say um, there's an interest by some individuals some groups will say for a certain imagery to be had a certain um, perception to be had by the majority of people when it comes to any type of phrase or any type of term, you know, it doesn't even just have to be this phrase, it doesn't have to be state nationals or foreign nationals, um, you know, controlling the narrative, so to speak, uh, is definitely, um, uh, there's, there's reasons, there's vested interest in that. And being a parent, I can tell you that because even, even raising children, there's vested interest in controlling certain narratives. Uh, Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy and all of this kind of thing wouldn't exist if there wasn't a vested interest in controlling some narrative. So it's not, it's not to be conspiratorial, you know, it's not to be uh, a tinfoil hat wearing kind of a person. This is legitimately just giving an example of going back to that creation triangle, understanding that if we're not consciously choosing our own interpretation and consciously choosing our own meaning around what we give things, then it came from somewhere else. So I offer that up because it made me chuckle. I was thinking, well, I'm going to be using some phrases and some terms that might inspire a certain reaction, a certain imagery, a certain way of thinking uh, in some people. And it's going to be a good example or a good time for me to call that out and say, hey, if that's raising those things up for you, I'm going to invite you to go back and revisit that creation triangle and invite you to consciously choose what meaning you give it instead of the meaning somebody else may have given it that you have adopted. That's all I really have to say about that. Um, anyway, just thought I'd put that out there as an open invite. Do as you will, you know. Like I said, I'm not here to impose my beliefs on anybody. I just wanted to use this as an example um, of what I mean in a practical example of what I mean by the creation triangle and how I have to use it to consciously choose the meaning that I give things and how I have to go back and revisit it when I find myself being inspired a certain way and questioning my own beliefs and where did they come from. So I just offer that up for that reason. All right, thanks again for watching. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.